Nadia, this might be a reality for you because you are going to get married again, yeah? I will be. Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> to the same man, though. To the same man. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. To the same man. To it sounded same really weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just said that. <laughs> to the same guy. Um, Abdal's watching it all. What? <laughs> yeah, I hope to one day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I've had the kind of Islamic wedding, so I've done that bit, right. and that was the kind of most important bit. But we've been putting off for about 11 years doing the, the actual kind of registering the marriage and doing it properly. Because it's not legal. No. So no. you're not technically married? Living in, in sin. Living in you are sin. living in sin. Yeah. yeah. But we, um, yeah, we, yeah we, I'd love to do a proper British wedding. I and would you do it. a speech? Absolutely. Would you? Yeah, because if it's not meant, if it's not normal to do it, then I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I I haven't been to that many sort of English weddings, but if it's not conventional, then I will do it. Because, You'll do the unconventional. Yeah. Right. Well, what would you say then? Uh, okay. So, you're the man who became so much more than my friend. You're my best friend, my soulmate, my confidant. You're so much more than my husband. You're the other half of me. I am yours, and you are mine. Aww. You go beyond being a father. You are their spirit, their eyes, their voice. May we continue to change, may we continue to grow, and long may our love flourish. Oh. Oh. See, I've got, I always go at weddings. That is really, <laughs> really beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh. That is I, I, I wonder it. what Abdal would think of that. Abdal? Abdal? Hi, everyone. Yeah. You, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> the Nadia in red. Oh. <laughs> Lady in red. Abdul, oh. what did you think of that? We so thought it was beautiful. beautiful. Oh, I thought that was amazing. <laughs> I mean, N Nadia's always been really good with her words. Oh. Um, she knows how to express her emotions, unlike me. Unlike you. She, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for correcting me there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know exactly when to throw in the funny li one liner when it's appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think you're amazing, and, and honestly, believe it or not, you inspire me to be the best version of me that I can be. Oh. Oh. And, and? seeing as though we've been married almost 11 years now, and to make it as difficult as possible for you to leave me, <laughs> will you give me the honour of being my registered legal wife? Oh. <laughs> That's a proposal. Abdal, listen, we're dying to meet you. Please, will you come in and meet, and meet us all soon? Yeah. We really yeah. would love you to come in, will you? I would love to, I would love to. And yeah. in answer oh, to your okay. question, maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> oh, that's good enough for me, that's good enough for me, thank you. Thanks, Abdal. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was so lovely. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, Sarah, you're going to have to follow that, babes. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know. And um, I have to say, Nadia, I mean, I, I think you are a real inspiration. And, I mean, you had an arranged marriage, didn't you? You, you didn't even know Abdul. Not very well. well. You didn't know you didn't meet him before you got married. And I, I have to say, I, I, I absolutely put my, you know, lay my hat, hat down to you because I was in that position and I could not follow it through. And I have to say, um, I have... P ladies, you know, young girls writing to me on a regular basis saying that, you know, they're going to be in, in an arranged marriage and how scared and how anxious they are. Yeah. And I have to say, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm welling up because when you talk about marriage, um, it is an emotional thing for me because since the age of 11, the biggest fear that I had in, about my life was I might get married to somebody that I have no idea who this person's going to be. Yeah. Am I going to love them? Because that's part of our cultural upbringing. So my speech is actually quite an emotional one. Um, and this is, is, this is a speech that I've prepared. I can't believe I'm sitting here with my family and friends wearing a white dress and getting married to you, Steve. What was destined for me was something very different, an arranged marriage to a man I didn't know from a faraway country that I didn't grow up in and with a culture that was alien to my British upbringing. I kept you secret for four years from my family because I'm not supposed to have boyfriends before marriage. If people found out that we were together, we would have been torn apart. Thank you for being patient and understanding of my cultural obstacles. I was determined to marry for love because who I choose to love and live with is my human right. And Steve, you are my true love and you are my human right. I risked being disowned, looked down upon and hated because I, as a Muslim girl, married a white non-religious man. But I don't care what others think <laughs> because I am marrying the kindest, smartest and most patient human being that has ever walked this earth. You are a true gentleman. P.S. 
Don't be expecting any hanky-panky tonight, cos I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.